Welcome back to my channel, it's me, Spears Fam, and today I'm coming to you with another makeup look. I wanted to do something so extravagant and pretty because I'm going to a bridal shower, and I got my Fenty products from the store, from Sephora. So I used the Trophy Wife, the blotting powder, and the foundation, which is in the color 350. I really like it, it's like next to nothing skin, and it feels incredible, like it feels like you don't have anything on your face. Um, today I experimented and used lashes. I didn't, I don't think I'm gonna put up the part where I was putting on the lashes because I was having problems, but um, this is the look that I came up with. I also used for my eyes, Carly Bible palettes, uh, Juvia's Palace um, palette, and I also used um, a palette from BH Cosmetics, and that's how I created this eye. I used the wing liner as well, and then I went on top of it with Trophy Wife again, of course. My highlight is popping. So if you want to see how I get this look, stay tuned and definitely subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. See you guys later. So I started off with my primer that I got in my Ipsy bag, which is from Smashbox. It has this glow to it. I put that all over my face just because I wanted to feel the textures in it. And then I went in with a color corrector around my mouth. Normally I don't do this step, but I was going to a bridal shower and I wanted the makeup to last all night. So I went ahead and put it where I felt like I had problem areas, which is still around my, my lips to me. Um, so that's what I'm doing. The next step is using, of course, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I use the number 350. It blends super good with my skin, but I also want to go up one level just because I feel like um, that mixed with 360 or just 360 is a good match, but I am sort of in between the 350 and the 360, which is weird, but the 350 is fine right now. I really like it. It feels light. Um, I had to keep checking the mirror to see if I had makeup on when it was done because it just felt so light, so good. It felt like um, I just had on moisturizer. So definitely one of my favorite foundations right now, and I'm going to keep buying it. So yeah, just blending that out using a sponge. I got that sponge from Real Techniques and I really, really like it. I'm still gonna go ahead and invest in that Rihanna sponge, but at the moment I did not need it because I had just purchased the Real Techniques sponge and it's doing a good job, so I'm still using it to this day. What are some of the favorites that you guys have from the Fenty Beauty line? Leave a comment below, let me know. I know that there's like thousands of videos out right now on it, but I just wanna know what are some of the things that you guys like from the Fenty Beauty line and what are you looking forward to seeing coming out? Now right now I just use my regular concealer um, that I have from Maybelline, which is the Fit Me. I have everything in the description below. I can't really remember the whole name and I should because I've been using it for dang near a year now but it blends really good with this makeup i didn't get the concealer sticks from rihanna's line i'm gonna go back and get them but you know i just got the main things that i really wanted since i already had prior stuff from different lines um basically i'm just highlighting the spots that i like to highlight on my face which is under my eyes my nose and my forehead i don't really do much on the bottom of my face because i feel like i just I just like having that natural color and then I use the powder to really shape my face anyways. And speaking of concealers, what are your what are your favorites? Did you get the Rihanna concealer? Did you get the highlight, the contour? Did you get some of the sticks? Like what did you get and what is your favorite brush? Like is it still the original Beauty Blender or is it like a different different <laughs> beauty blender like a faux beauty blender or something but just you know let your girl know so i could try some things out you know i'm really 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 loving makeup right about now and i love experimenting it before i actually put the video up so right here what i'm gonna do is do my contour i'm using la girl in beautiful bronze and i'm just setting it where i want it to go and 
blending it out. At first I tried to blend it with this Real Techniques uh, sponge, but it wasn't doing it for me. I mean, I look a little frustrated, so I went ahead and took one of my old sponges that you could get, you know, at your dollar, your dollar store or Sally's or anywhere, and you just blend that out. That's really my favorite. I haven't found a brush or anything yet that really blends it out like those little triangle sponges do. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna hit everything with my Laura Mercier powder. I did get the blotting powder, but I didn't wanna use it under my eyes and you know, by my cheeks because it, I was pulling the all-nighter. I mean, I know it's good because I used it throughout the night, but I really needed that intense powder. And right here, I'm using some bronzer from Bahama Mama. I can't remember the color, but it will be in the description box below. I love, love, love that bronzer. And then I go over it again with my um, Tarte bronzer that I just received in my Ipsy bag this month love it it has like this nice shimmer to it and since you know i was going out in the night you know i had to make sure my face was popping um here i'm just gonna make sure that that my face is not it's not sharp but my contour is showing so what i'm using is my laura mercier powder i like to use one of those triangle sponges again because for me i could get a straight line versus um you know sweeping it on with a brush Okay, so now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Kali Bible uh, Highlight and Eyeshadow Palette. I like using the brown tones in this palette. I wanted something still sexy and, sul and sultry, is that the word? But, um, and seductive, but not too dark. So I went in with some lighter colors, lighter brown colors first. And then I decided I wanted to add some orange to it just to, you know, help my brown eyes pop. So from that palette is the BH. I mean, I have it in the bottom description box. I need to remember all these names, but I can't. So right now, all I know is that's from BH Cosmetics. And I think it's an 88 palette, 88 eyeshadow palette. And I really just wanted to, you know, bring out my eyes a little bit before I go in with that trophy wipe. So that orange, I love, love, love orange, where it's not like orange, orange, but kind of like a peachy orange. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now, adding a little color to my eyes, and it's coming along. And if you're wondering about my eyebrows, I did that off camera, but I do have a video that I will link in the box below on how to achieve getting brows like mine. Now I went ahead with the LA Girl Concealer. Um, can't really remember the color of that either. I'm drawing a blank right now. But basically what I do is put this down as a foundation for the color I'm gonna put on top of it so that it will show up a little bit more brightly. You don't have to do this step. I don't do this step every time I do my makeup. But again, I was going to an event, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, my eye shadow was not creasing, it was not moving, it was staying put for the whole night, like, and I look bomb for the rest of the night. That's the point. But this right here is from Juvia's Place. Um, I have her Nubian palette, and so I was going in with the gold color that I found in the palette. And wherever you see like my eyes with a line connected to the upper eyeshadow, I was just using a brush to pack it on after that. I always use my fingers first, and then I go over it again with a brush, and I make it really, really, really intense, especially when you're hitting the club or just going out at night in general, you don't pack it on where you look like a clown, but pack it on so that it's intense. That's the only word I could find right now. Like, just make sure it looks good. Just follow my steps and you will not get lost. Like, I learned to do makeup from watching a couple of people on YouTube. 
just YouTube taught me how to do makeup and I really feel like it's doable once you study it like really study the way people do their makeup and find your own way of doing it now once I finished that I took the trophy wife and I tapped my finger lightly on it because it's really pigmented and decided to you know put it on top of that gold color I had laid down I brought it kind of to the midway of my eyes and just kept packing it until I felt like I had the intensity that I wanted. I really, 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 really love Trophy Wife as an eyeshadow. It doesn't bother me as a highlight either because I have a feather brush, so it's not coming on as heavy as I see, you know, some of the girls do it. And that's fine if you want to wear it that heavy, but for me, I don't. So um, I'm gonna go in now with some highlighter from the Carly Bible palette first. That one has like pink undertones. So I laid that down first. Um, I suggest getting that palette. I love, love, love her palette. Her palette is amazing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that Trophy Wife and I'm going to just, you know, put a little on my, on my high cheekbones so that I can have that, <laughs> when that light hit boy, when that light hit that cheek, boy, yes, it's gonna look so good. This is the point where you start really feeling yourself like, I look so good, like, okay, I know I'm gonna turn heads. And then after I did that, I should've did this before I did my highlight, but I just went in and did the under, under my eyes, you know, I like doing that because I feel like it just brings intensity to your eyes and makes your eyes pop a little more like makes it a little bit bigger now of course i wouldn't be me if i didn't put some more brown up in there because i feel like if you just put a little brown in your crease you don't have to always go all the way to the inner corner of your eye but just on that little end right there it does help to deepen your eyes especially if you have small eyes that will open your eyes like a hundred times more than it was before like if you have chinky eyes or whatever but yeah so that's what I'm doing here. And then off camera, I did my lashes, which I got from Sephora, and I'm gonna link them in the box below because I don't know if the link, but I'll leave the name of it and you can go buy it. I love these lashes, guys. They stayed on all night, loved it. And I did my wing eyeliner off screen. That makeup mix is the one I use all the time. I know you guys want me to try some new lipsticks, but I just love this combo right now, of course. I'm gonna leave everything again in the box below. That's the K-pop. I mixed it with, I can't remember the color, but it's a nice nude color, color and they're both from ColourPop. Love the combo, I kill it. My pencils are going down as we speak and I have to reorder another one before they get rid of it because we all know ColourPop does not keep anything in stock. So, and I heard they're coming to Sephora, which I'm super excited about. But um, yeah, that's my lip combo. And then I'm gonna take my pink and add it to it and blend it out and then just really fix it so that I have the perfect full lip. I mean, why not? Why not, right? I love it, I love it. So thank you guys for watching my video today. Hit your face with some spray. Have an awesome day, have an awesome weekend. Stay warm, stay dry, stay blessed. And remember to thank God for everything you have in your life. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share. See you later.